This is the moment they've been looking for in a Tom Queen era. This place has been electric. I'm telling you, I feel like the olden days of Bob Knight with Steve Alford, the Calvin Cheney era. It's unbelievable, the enthusiasm here. Tom, I'm curious. Take me back to the spring of 2008. Really? And you take this job. <laughs> we try you, to erase that. Well, and you get here and you find what? A lot of chaos. Uh, there's no question about it. There, there was no way to, to even quantify uh, what you thought of Indiana versus where it was at at that point. We were in crisis mode for really the second day on. Academically, we were in a real rut. There was no question about that. And I know there had been a lot of upheaval and there had been unrest in, in the program, but, but it was a shame that it had gotten like that. Did the complete reclamation project that began back then, did that actually speed up the, the process to get to this point? There, there's no silver spoon when you when you take over a program like this. I mean, it's one of the pinnacle programs, no doubt about that, but, but we had to build it from scratch. And, and all you had was this great base of fans and this tremendous tradition and all these great former players that wanted to see the program succeed. Our, our motivation and our energy came from this crowd and our leadership came from the former players. And, and to, to let people know this is what Indiana basketball is all about. What happened this year? What's so special to take a 12-win team uh, about this year back into the top 25 and back into where Indiana basketball belongs uh, in the college basketball scene? I think as a whole, and speaking as a whole, these guys got to the point where they knew they had to, to they had to really uh, participate in their own rescue, so to speak. That they had to be, that there had to be more gym time. There had to be more off-season work on their own. There had to be a maturity rise in the sense of we've got to get to winning. We want to get to, to where winning is something that we do. Uh, our younger players brought a work ethic into this program like Victor Oladipo and Will Sheehy and Jordan Halls. It's been tremendous. And there's no question that the signing of Cody Zeller and the way he has come into this program and just been such a great teammate. All those things have really, really worked for us. And. Uh, but there's no question that the work ethic of the offseason was a huge, huge difference in how we've played this season. I'm watching you play Kentucky. And you're right, over, right about and where and Cody Zeller set the screen he's, he's, for Verdell Jones. He's, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and we're, 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 we're right here, just a few feet away from where Christian Watford hits that shot. Mm -hmm. Take me to that moment. It's Kentucky, and you've got him. You've played a great game. And it comes down to those final moments. What were, your, what were your thoughts during that time? Well, Christian Watford made a great inbounds pass. Cody Zeller backed off and set a great screen for Verdell Jones. And Christian ran to a money spot for him. Watford for the win! Yes! Yes! Oh! I'm not sure what I was thinking, because as I'm walking down the court to shake John's hand, I see the referees rushing over to see that monitor. So all of a sudden, any joy that you're about to have is dropping right to your feet. And so, but once that, once the shot counted, there was no question, it was bedlam. Behind us are five very special shot. pieces of yeah. cloth. Have you ever stopped for a moment to dream 20 years down the line that, that now you've got the Kraken night cream I think the last couple years of being inside of this and, and going through the hard times and losing it makes you it made me really really appreciate how much I love coaching how much I love the actual parts of coaching and uh, so you always want to be considered you know at the top of your craft you always want to be considered one of the best but that's not what drives it you take care of your own legacy and your players take care of their own legacy if you win and that's exactly what we're trying to do Still a lot of basketball to, to go this season. How far can, can this team go um, in the Big Ten tournament and getting on deeper into March? I think if this team continues to have the humble spirit, the hunger that they have, the, to, you know, we always talk about staying on the climb. You know, keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. We use visuals for that. And, and the bottom line is if we feel like we've arrived at any point or we feel like we need to catch our breath or we need to stop because we've gone far enough, that's when you lose. And you can't get out of it. You can't get out of it. And and when you feel like you're on the climb and you're going to the next thing, then you have a chance to keep improving. So if we can do that, we have a chance to, to do some things. There's no doubt.